This is not just the best two in one laptop of 2025, but this is one machine that can actually replace your desktop computer as well. And it's also not what you think. This is the brand new HP Spectre X360, and we have the highest spec model here with i9 processor, 30 to gigs of RAM and super fast storage. But there are lower spec models available at a much cheaper price point. Full review coming soon, but let's find out why this is the ultimate 2-in-1 laptop right now. So first of all, this is a proper 2-in-1 laptop. So it does tablet mode where you can use the touch screen and it does tent mode. Where you can use it like this with the keyboard behind. And of course it does the normal clamshell laptop mode. But my favorite is this. If you pull the display all the way back, you can actually use this in tent mode so that you can use this with touch screen. While it has charging. And since the charger is magnetic, you can charge it from either side. Now this is called being thoughtful. This is how you do design something for actual humans. By the way, if you like this kind of design thinking, make sure to hit subscribe because that's what we talk about. And you know what? In this tent mode, you can also detach the keyboard. Now if you look at other devices such as the Galaxy Book or even the Surface Pro series, they don't really offer this. You cannot really use it properly without having to lean it against something. But this is different. And that's because of this hinge. It is slightly different than the traditional 360 degree hinge. You can see when I tilt it, it locks into position. When I take it all the way back, it stays there. But if I tilt it again, it unlocks and then I can move it freely. That's a very clever design. And that's the reason why you can use this as a proper tablet without any issue. Now the other thing is this keyboard. The keyboard is actually the best part of this entire package because it offers a full size layout. It doesn't compromise on anything. And you know what? This touchpad, it's huge. It's not one of those tiny touchpads that you find on most laptops. It's actually usable. And this is what you call a complete laptop experience. They have kept the function row. They have given you full-size arrow keys. You also get RGB on the keyboard. You can change between different patterns, effects. You can turn it off as well. And I love the fact that there's a button here for camera mute. But the best part is that these speakers sound amazing. Like I said, I am gonna be doing a full review, but I had to put it in my bag and bring it home. These speakers, they sound amazing. Whether you're watching Dolby Vision HD or content on Netflix or you're playing games, which by the way, this does support, the graphics card is powerful enough. It has Bluetooth 5.3, so you can connect your headphones, your external monitor and everything else. So even though it's called a tablet, this is basically a mini desktop. If you look at the port situation, it's absolutely loaded. So on one side, you have a USB Type-C Thunderbolt for port. You have another USB Type-C Thunderbolt for port, which also charges the device. You have a headphone jack, micro SD card slot. On the other side, you have the Thunderbolt ports, a USB Type-A and an HDMI. So yeah, you don't need a hub with this device. And even though you have a micro SD card slot, you do get a full-size SD card reader in the box. Now you know what's funny. Most people will buy this for its tablet capabilities, but the real use case for this is desktop replacement. Like you can keep this at home and use it instead of a desktop PC because this has a dedicated GPU. It has a powerful CPU. You can connect an external monitor and you're good to go. I mean you don't need to buy a separate setup for photo editing or even gaming. This can handle both things pretty easily. And because it's a 2-in-1, you can use the touchscreen for photo editing and if you want to game, you can use the keyboard. Now we did try some photo editing on this machine. We were able to edit photos in Lightroom and Photoshop without any issue. But more importantly, this is a 16-inch laptop and this thin. I mean it is ridiculously thin, especially when you compare it to the competition. Even though it is ridiculously thin, they have managed to add a lot of features here. You get a full-size keyboard. You get this beautiful 16-inch display. And it is an old display, but it's not just any old display. This is a high-brightness old panel with HDR support. Colors look amazing. Viewing angles are great and it gets really bright as well. It's not one of those dull old panels. And although it's not an exact square, it's almost there. It's 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So you get a little bit extra vertical space. You know what? For once I'm happy that there is no Windows Hello login. Instead, what you get is a fingerprint scanner. It is embedded inside the power button. It's very fast, very accurate. And I think this is better than facial recognition anyway. Now let us talk about performance because this is the highest spec model. And it is packed with the i9 processor, 30 to gigabytes of RAM and super fast storage. 
And this is what you call a performance beast. I mean this thing flies through benchmarks. It doesn't matter if you're running synthetic benchmarks or real-world applications. This i9 chip, it's built for performance. Although the chassis is thin, there is enough room for cooling. There are vents on the back and on the bottom as well. You don't hear the fan unless you're really pushing it. I mean the fan only activates when you're doing something intensive. If you're just browsing the web or working on documents, the fan remains silent. And even if it does activate, it's not loud. And here's a quick Geekbench score for your reference. As for battery life, I was able to get around 7 hours with the high performance mode turned on. But if you switch to the balance mode, you can get around 8 hours of battery life. Which is pretty good considering this has a 70 for watt hour battery. Now I know what you're thinking. All of this sounds great, but isn't this expensive? Well, yes and no. If you compare this to something like the Surface Studio, which is also a desktop replacement to in one device, this is actually cheaper. And this is what you call a proper to in one. I mean, most devices today are 360 degree convertible laptops. They're not true to in one devices. You cannot use them as tablets. But this one you can. And it is not just a concept. It's not some prototype. You can actually buy this and use it. But the main question is who is this for? This is for someone who wants a single device that can do everything. If you want a laptop that you can use for photo editing, for 3D modeling, even for gaming, and if you want something that you can use as a tablet as well, this is the device for you. Also, if you travel a lot and you don't want to carry a laptop and a tablet, this is the device for you. Just keep in mind that this is not a cheap device. The base model starts at around $1,200 and the higher spec models go up to around $2,000. But if you look at the competition, this is actually cheaper. We'll be comparing this to the Surface Studio in the upcoming weeks. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that video. And overall, I am super impressed with this device because it's not just a concept. Some companies show off concepts and prototypes that never come to life. But this is here and you can buy it. In fact, I would say this is the ultimate 2-in-1 laptop of 2025. If you agree with that statement, let me know in the comments below. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.